In today's video, we're going to do a review and demo of Shiseido's Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Tint. This is what the container looks like. You may have seen it. This is a new release, as far as I know, in the U.S. market. And I love skin tints and tinted moisturizers more than I love foundations. I think they're more flattering for my mature less than perfect skin. The other two favorites have been the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40 and the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. So in today's video I'm focusing primarily on the Shiseido but we're going to do a two-day comparison where I line them up against my other two Holy Grail serums or skin tints and see how they play out. This sounds like something you might be interested in. Stick around, we're about to get right into it. So I'm Mona, thank you for spending some time with me today. If you're a more mature woman, or you're a younger woman with less than perfect skin, if you suffer from enlarged pores, if you have skin texture, if you often feel like your makeup is too cakey or too thick or too heavy and just not flattering on your skin, if you feel like it's accentuating areas or things about your skin that you don't like, then this might be a great video for you. I have found through lots of trial and error and through testing so many foundations that although I would love that perfectly flawless, full coverage foundation that just makes me look 20 again, that's really not realistic for me and that as I am aging gratefully, I find that less is more. So I navigate primarily to skin tints and to tinted moisturizers or very lightweight foundations. When I saw Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Tint by Shiseido, knowing that I had really actually liked that foundation, I thought, I wonder how I'd feel about the skin tint. And again, as far as I know, this is a new release in the US. I wanted to do an in-depth review on the skin tint. This is Broad Spectrum SPF 20. The Ilia is Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. This one is L'Oreal True Match Nude. But all of them are going in this direction of the trend to combine a hybrid of foundation and skincare. I would never primarily rely on my foundation for my skincare. I would still do your skincare like you normally do. But while I certainly wouldn't rely on a foundation for my skincare in its totality, I do prefer that they have it than that they don't. It's a bonus, right? So if this is the kind of content that you like, consider hitting the subscribe button and joining the family where you can know when I upload a new video that will have similar content to this. So let's get into the wear tests, the deets, the facts, the demonstrations. And at the end of the day, the final decision is always up to you. I'm just bringing you the best information that I can to help you make the best purchasing decisions that you can. So this is Shiseido's Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Tint. From what I can tell, this is a new release in the US, but it has been released in the UK. Formally, if I'm wrong, somebody correct me in the comments. In any case, it is new to me. And this is sort of going with that bandwagon trend of foundations to be more inclusive of skincare, to be that hybrid between foundation and skincare, and maybe that less is more look. What is different about Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Tint? This one is Broad Spectrum SPF 20. Now, this one claims to have 70% of its ingredients be skincare ingredients. That's a lot more than most. This one has the highest claim that I've seen of what the percentage of skincare ingredients to foundation is in the actual product. It says that it's fresh, weightless skin tint that synchronizes with skin to provide light coverage, balancing skin texture and tone while letting your natural skin shine through, featuring active force technology which actively resists heat and humidity, oil and motion, this tinted moisturizer self-refreshes non-stop for a fresh, natural finish that lasts all day. It includes hyaluronic acid, it delivers an instant burst of hydration, and it hydrates and nourishes skin for 24 hours. 
The shades are flexible to work across different skin tones from fair to deep. It's fresh, natural finish, shine resistant, transfer resistant, resists sweat and humidity. It's waterproof, crease proof, and fragrance free. So it is a little bit on the pricey side at $43 for 30 milliliters. We're gonna compare it to one of many people's new holy grails, this L'Oreal Serum. This is a drugstore foundation with a medium price. I have done a video on this one. My first review was not positive because my skin was in a bad place and it wasn't a fair review. I did mention it again recently as one of my favorite go-to foundations. What I don't like about it at its price point between $14 and $20 is the messiness of the applicator. Now I did get a pump that you can buy on Amazon but that increases the price by about $4 so putting it between $20 and $25. But you can replace this out with that pump and avoid the messiness. If you look at what this looks like, I mean you can see it's gunky, it's messy, it gathers around the lid. The pump does solve the problem completely. It even leaks out on the top a little bit sometimes. You can see that dingy color. So the, this packaging is more appealing to me. No mess. Now for five dollars more I'm still beating this price and I'm replacing this pump. You can see the consistency of the L'Oreal. So it does provide some coverage. I can get more than what I would attribute to a skin tint. Let's look at the Ilia. The Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40 came out a couple of years ago and this is like my fourth bottle of this. Maybe my fifth. I has, This is probably one of my most repurchased foundations. For my skin, this is really good. So this one also has niacinamide, squalene, hyaluronic acid, SPF is 40. You still can't rely on that alone, but that's a pretty good amount of SPF to complement your foundation. And it's got really good for you skincare ingredients in it. Also a dropper, and it gets a little messy, but not as messy as the L'Oreal. This one is a lot more runny. And definitely what I think of when I think of a skin tint. Just balancing my skin without really giving too much coverage. This one gives a little bit more coverage. Both of them give me a glowy radiant finish that sometimes highlights these pores right here. Do like them both and you can mattify that down with powder you can get it to work. I can get, definitely, definitely get it, them both to work and enjoy them both. Now let's look at this Shiseido. This is kind of a hybrid in between the two. So this is definitely a tint. And it's definitely thin. It definitely runs. Not as much as the Ilia and not as little as the L'Oreal. So we're going to apply it on this side of my face. I'm going to zoom you in. I would say off the bat, what I like about this one, it gives you a natural finish. It's not too much radiance. I can use other products to give me more radiance if I want, but I think this one flatters my pores better. So if you are really looking for just a foundation that's going to even out your skin without emphasizing pores at all or texture and almost giving you a matte look without that matte feel, this is where this foundation shines. Zoom you in some more. So it doesn't completely cover my red redness, but it definitely evens out my skin tone. You can build it up a little more. Although I like all of these products, I like the finish on this one the best. Now for the price point, would this be the one I go to on every day? No, I'd probably choose one of the more affordable options and then use this one when I want to look a little more polished. I can bring this down my chin a little bit if I want to, but it's a good color match and I really don't feel like I have to. You can see that all three of these are different shades and all three of them match my skin. That's because skin tints are more forgiving. So let's go in on this side with the L'Oreal 
True Match Nude Hyaluronic Acid. Same thing, I'm gonna take some, go in. At first glance, you can see I used a pretty hefty dose of this and it did not do as good of a job at covering my redness as the Synchro Skin by Shiseido did. I just think that this gives me a better look without emphasizing texture. Let's zoom in. Both allow my natural skin to peek through. This gives me a little bit more matte dry down without keeping my skin from shining through. I'm gonna go put on my makeup and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do a check-in outside in natural light. So we're gonna compare at four hours the check-in between the L'Oreal Hyaluronic Acid Serum and the Shiseido Synchro Skin Tint. I do have a little blush on, so that's not my natural redness. I'm gonna zoom in. This is the L'Oreal side. Now I do have texture, so I'm always looking for something that's gonna minimize that. You can see my texture. This is the L'Oreal side in natural lighting. This is the Synchro Skin by Shiseido in natural lighting. They both allow your skin to sink through. Okay, we'll come back at the end of the day and we will hear my final thoughts on these two. And then tomorrow we will compare the Shiseido to the Ilia. Okay guys, it's only been 10 hours today. I've been a little under the weather this week. 10 hours is a good amount of time. 10 hours is what I'm looking for my foundations and skin tints to last for. That's a good eight hours of work. That's travel time there, travel time back. If it lasts longer, that's always a plus. And tomorrow, if I'm feeling a little better when I do the Ilia to the Synchro Skin Foundation comparison, then we will maybe get to see how the Shiseido lasts a little longer. I already know that the L'Oreal does last longer for me than 10 hours. And I already know that the Shiseido does too. So we're gonna zoom in. Been eating and drinking. I've been out. It's been a little damp today. I think that for the price, it would be hard to justify the purchase of the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Tint over the L'Oreal. However, I will say that I do slightly prefer the finish to this. And if money is not an object, I prefer the container for the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Tint. I also prefer the coverage. It's not that it's more coverage, it's hard to explain. It's just slightly different in that I wanna say that it's more matte and I don't like a matte foundation. So that would seem like it would make sense. I'm trying to put it into words for you why I like it better. It is maybe more of a satin finish and I do believe that it holds in hydration better. I have extremely parched, dry skin. My skin just wants to suck up any moisture that it can. And I feel like this side is more moisturized. Do I feel like this side is bad? No, absolutely not. I feel like, I feel like the L'Oreal emphasizes my pores and my texture just a little bit more. However, you can add an inexpensive powder and you can dust it over you can change this top out to a pump for $4 extra and you're still spending less than you are on the Shiseido Synchro Skin Tint and kind of have the same look. But it requires more effort. And how I feel about the skin tints and the two reasons that I like them is I like that I can just quickly put them on with my hand I don't have to do as much blending or making sure that things are matched because it doesn't have to be matchy-matchy because it's going to blend with my skin tone. It's just 
evening out my skin tone, giving me a little coverage. I still look natural. You can't tell that I'm wearing foundation. You can tell that I'm wearing concealer a little bit in this picture. You really can't see the foundation. You don't feel the foundation on either side. I feel like this side for me, and I've worn this on both sides of my face, even on what I call my bad side. And I still feel like it gives me a little, a little better look. If I'm on a budget, if I'm not going anywhere or I'm just going to the store, I'm probably going to use this. If I'm going somewhere and I just want a little more polished look, like maybe I have a meeting but it's not a fancy meeting or I have a Zoom call with some important people at work, I'd probably pick up this one. So I hope that helps you with your deciding factor. If money is an issue, there is nothing wrong with this beautiful foundation. I continue to love it. I continue to wear it. I'm doing an honest comparison between the two. My personal preference is a Shiseido. Not because of the price point, but because of the finish and because of the way I feel that my skin looks with it on. It's still everything that I like. It's light. It flexes with my skin. Neither one of them really settle into fine lines or wrinkles. Neither one of them wear off quickly. When both of them wear off, because they're light coverage, they just wear off naturally. You don't notice like gaps or holes or funky stuff happening with either of them. So I would say that either of these products is a winner. I like the packaging and I like the finish and I like the fact that this one maybe feels more hydrating to my skin. I don't say that it necessarily looks more hydrating but it feels more hydrating. My skin feels good in it. Tomorrow we're gonna to come back and we're gonna go compare the Shiseido to the Ilia. And hopefully by the end, you'll have an idea if this might be a product that you'd be interested in picking up or if it's a patch for you. I'll see you tomorrow. So today I'm coming to you, I have my eyes done, have a little lip gloss on. I only have my skincare and my sunscreen on. So we're going to compare again this Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Tint by Shiseido up against the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. So the Ilia is a little bit more expensive than the Synchro Skin and more expensive than the L'Oreal. This one is $48. Ilia is Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40 which is a great amount of sunscreen in a tent. You're never going to put enough to get that full 40, but you, even with a regular application, you'd get at least probably a 15 or a 20. So this comes like in 27 shades, so it's more easy to match than the other two. It does say that it's a clean, light coverage, tinted mineral SPF 40 serum that boosts skincare benefits. Your tinted SPF will never be the same. This first of its kind formula fuses skincare, makeup, and sun protection into one easy step. And now that's becoming more of the norm. So Ilia might have been one of the first groundbreakers in this trend, but it certainly caught on in the beauty industry. So this one says it's a weightless serum that leaves your skin looking like skin, featuring SPF 40 coverage with non-nano zinc oxide, to safely shield skin from UVA, UVB, UVC, blue light, and infrared rays. It's created with a blend of hyaluronic acids, plant-based squalene, and niacinamide. Its skin tint evens tone, softens fine lines and imperfections, and dries down to a natural dewy finish. It doesn't stop there. It creates a natural barrier for your skin care, sealing in hydration, plumping skin, and boosting any antioxidant effectiveness by 200%, plus it's silicone free, fragrance free, chemical screen free, oil free, non-commodogenic, and safe for sensitive skin. This is SPF Made Super. And this is my most repurchased foundation skincare product, so I do like it. And you do get the 30 mLs in this. So let's put these side by side. Again, on this side, I'm going in with the Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Skin Tent. And 
you can see how it squirts out and kind of sits. It does run eventually, but it's got a little more consistency than the Ilia. This is in the shade 215 Light. I have the color Balos ST3. This one is definitely runnier. Okay, so I'm going to dab a little bit on the side of the Shiseido. It feels creamy in consistency. It feels lightweight. It has a glide. And you can see my redness is still coming through. Now let's see if we can build it up a little bit. I feel like this can give you a sheer to light coverage. The slip is pretty equivalent to both the L'Oreal and the Ilia, but the Ilia probably having the most slip of all. So let's look at that. A little redness poking through, no emphasis on pores. No clinging to texture. I'm even going to go up one and add just a little bit more just for the sake of showing you what it can do or cannot do. You don't need a sponge. You don't need a brush. Your fingers are great because it warms it up. It helps it just melt with your skin if you're really looking for that skin finish. I think with this amount I have a beautiful light coverage that lets my skin shine through. It's a little radiant. It's definitely hydrating. You can see the glow. Hopefully the camera's picking that radiance up, that luminosity up. But it's not too shiny. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the Ilia on this side. You can see my shade match was a little lighter on this side. I must have been feeling really pale when I ordered this or ordered the wrong shade. I don't remember, but I'm almost finished this bottle. And I do feel like after a few minutes, no matter the fact that I picked up various shades, they all end up blending nicely with my skin. First coat. Feels very slippy, feels a little more tackier than this. This has a quicker dry down. This has a dry down, but it has a slower dry down. Let me go in with a little bit more, just for the sake of it. I could be happy with the look of either of these with one coat. You can see I'm going on heavy so that you can see what it can do. So I don't like the way this one feels as much when I try to build it up. This one is very easy to build up. This one, you have a lot more slip and you feel the skincare in it more. Okay, let's zoom in. I think both give you a luminosity. I think this one accentuates my pores more. This Ilia was my holy grail. I have not repurchased the Ilia since I found the L'Oreal. And this is on the dregs of the bottle. And if I had to choose between this one and these two now, I would choose one of these. So let's do the wear test. I'm going to go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup and I'm going to do an outdoor light test and then we'll give our final thoughts at the end of today and wrap up this video. It is four hours in. I have my makeup on, we're in natural light. I'm comparing the Ilia skin tint against the Shiseido Synchro skin tint. So this is the Shiseido side. This is the Ilia side.
I'm going to let them both stay on as long as I possibly can today and then we'll come back and check in at the end of the day. Okay, so here are my final thoughts. First of all, I want to say thank you so much. I know this was a long video. It took long because it was an in-depth review of three different foundations. However, in gratitude for you staying till the end, I am doing a giveaway. The magic word is chase. So if you use the word chase in a sentence in the comments, I will draw a winner next weekend and you will be the winner of a $25 Sephora or Ulta gift card you can choose. Once I announce the winner, you will have to respond in order for me to get in touch with you. Email me with your contact information. The reason we're using the word Chase is because my son Chase is sick this weekend and he is so sick that my other son cannot come in to do the parenting tips for adult children video with me so i'm going to have to postpone that until we are all well in this household clear winner for today between the shiseido synchro skin and the ilia foundation is definitely the shiseido synchro skin tint so let's zoom you in there are no pores emphasized nothing is settling in lines and wrinkles it has worn off slightly right here it still looks very good. It's not clean to texture, emphasizing texture. Let's move in on this side. My former holy grail. It is definitely breaking up. It is settling in this wrinkle right here. It is breaking up. You can definitely see I still have good coverage over here. It's clean to texture. It's settling in these lines. It's broken up in multiple places over this side of my face. And if I zoom you in, you can see it's definitely emphasizing my pores. You can see all of my pores. It's definitely emphasizing them. It is faded off in most spots. You can see how it's breaking up right here. It's settling in fine lines and wrinkles. So I don't know what my camera's doing right now. So I'm in trouble finding its focus. I'm going to have to recheck the settings. Even the lighting is suddenly going wonky. This side clearly looks better. Ilya is out of the running. This gone gone from my holy grail stash and we're down to l'oreal and shiseido self refreshing skin tint self synchronizing skin tint so the bottom line is both the l'oreal and the shiseido are top of the line skin tints for women who prefer those lighter coverage serum skin tints foundations whatever you want to call them and Ilya did not make the cut, but Shiseido edges out the L'Oreal just a little bit, but I don't know that the difference is worth the difference in price. So that's only a decision that you can make. Hopefully this video was helpful in you making a determination, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe and live like Mel.